sumaka de light after natin i-warm, compress ang ating mata. I-massage lang natin para mag-secret yung na-block na may pomian gland there. Para ma-secret niya yung mga oils na tumigas dyan. So, that's how you treat Shilajan. Tama ba yung bigas ko? Or Shilajan? Shilajan. Comment down below kung ano yung tamang pronunciation. <laughs> Hello mga kadalight! So today for this video, I'm gonna share with you the condition that I had recently because of the stresses that I've been going through in the last few months. I developed a so-called chelation. So chelation is a red bump on your eyelid. It's sometimes called an eyelid cyst or a meibomian cyst. It slowly forms when an oil gland or the meibomian gland becomes blocked. At first, the collision may be painful, but after a little time, it usually doesn't hurt. A collision typically forms on the underside of your upper eyelid, but may occasionally form on your lower eyelid. Originally, collisions develop in adults between the ages of 30 and 50. They're not common in children, but they can happen. So the difference between a sty and collision, so... Um, a collision can form because of a sty, but they're different conditions. While they're both formed due to blocked oil glands, styes are bacterial infections that cause the gland to swell. Styes appear at your eyelid's edge, whereas collisions appear farther back on your eyelids. In addition, styes can be painful, but collisions generally aren't painful. Larger collisions can press on the surface of your eye, which is your cornea, which can lead to blurred and decreased vision. So this was what happened to me. Mga kadalight, I have done some nursing interventions for the collision to resolve and drain by itself by doing warm compresses several times a day. And I also bought some lid care wipes to clean my eyelids. And I bought some eye drops. As my eyes started getting so dry and my vision was affected too as the oil was blocked and was not secreting any oil to lubricate my eye. So it took me two months to finally drain it by itself by just doing all the nursing interventions that I know. Although it really bothered me appearance-wise and also my vision, I was so sure that it can resolve by itself but I know that it takes time. Because I don't want any needles into my eyes or any medical intervention yet. So finally, after several months of enduring it, finally it drained by itself. Then that's the time I went to the emergency room for some eye ointment and optical antibiotics to prevent it from getting infected. My friends were also teasing me and convincing me to go to the doctor and have it checked and have it drained. Pag nurse ka talaga, hindi ka agad pupunta sa doktor. Nagawa ka mo naman ng mga nursing interventions. Bago ka pumunta sa doktor. Pag wala ka nang magawang interventions. <laughs> mga nurses dyan, comment down below. Tama ba? Siyempre, anong silbi ng ating nursing intervention, kundi natin gagamitin sa sarili natin pag kailangan, di ba mga kadilight? Kaya nga, binigyan tayo ng skills ni Lord at ng wisdom at ng knowledge sa ating mga napag-aralan. 
gamitin natin kahit sa ating mga sarili. Okay, that's way better. Okay. Kamay bomb yan ng grand blockage. Okay, hindi na siya ganong kalaki. Medyo malit na siya. Hello guys! Napadaan lang ako dito. It says Royal Canadian Legion. So look at the building. Pakaganda ng mga murals nila. Very artistic ang gumawa nito. Mga veterans ng Canada. All animals are prohibited on city cemetery. Oh, but it says, oh, this is a cemetery. Ah, so guys, ayun yung cemetery. So akala ko may daan doon kasi sabi sa app, maglakad daw ako towards dito. Pero, pumasok ako dun sa loob ng nahan tao dun. Parang arco ng Chinese characters. Cemetery pala yun. Kaya tumalun ako dun sa bako para lumabas dito sa exit. Meron pala dito ang secret passage. <laughs> okay. I'm going to the hospital. And we're here! Ayun, from that secret passage, nandito na tayo sa hospital. Ito na ang hospital. Hello mga kadilayt, so naglalakad na tayo pa uwi. Natapos na po tayong Tignan ng doktor sa Emerge. So, nagbus lang po ako papunta. At magbabas din ako pa uwi. Hindi ako nag-drive kasi baka may gawin sa mata ko. And problema ko pa yung sasakyan kapag uuwi na ako. Kapag maiwan ko dito sa ospital, di ba? So, I'm trying to catch the bus. Maglalakad lang po tayo ng 12 minutes. So, hopefully, makatch ko po ang bus. Kasi pag nag-taxi ako, $40, wala pang bit. So, at least pag pass, $50 lang, di ba? O pag may transfer ka, total of $5, makakauwi ka na. So, ayan. Sama ko kayo sa journey ko. Nandito po tayo sa Boundary. Sarito po po ang community hospital area. Ito yung community dito sa may hospital area. Ayan. Um, pala dito mga apartment buildings. But, yeah. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. This is here.
Uuwi na ako mga kadilay. So, nagbas lang po tayo. Hello mga kadilay. So, ang nareset po sa atin or binigay sa atin ng doktor galing sa emergency ay ophthalmic ointment. So, nilagay ko na po siya sa aking mata for 3 to 5 days daw. So, after niyo pong maligo, Uh, nilinisan ko maigi yung mata ko, niniscrub ko siya ng, gumamit ako ng lead wipes. Tapos, nilagay ko yung ointment doon sa may eyelashes ko. And, pwede daw siyang pumasok sa loob ng mata. So, as you can see, nagde-drain na po yung pas. Mas malaki siya kanina, actually. So, ngayon, lumit na siya. So, ayan ang ating visit sa emergency room! Emergency room! O, oh, diba mga kadalay? Kaya, mag-ingat po tayo sa paggamit ng mga makeup. At kung ano-ano pa. At sa paghawak ng ating mga mata. So, huwag kayo maghahawak ng mata niya pag hindi malinis yung kamay niyo. Para maiwasan natin na ma-infect ang ating mata. Actually, medyo uncomfortable yung antibiotics sa mata ko. Kakain pa ako. Okay, sige, sige, sige.